All right, welcome back to Daybreak. Good Saturday morning to you. Live look on Monument Circle. And as you're planning your weekend activities, let's find out what the weather has in store. It could not have been more football perfect weather last night right. for Friday night football. I know AC and the gang had been talking about how beautiful the weather has been. Yeah. I think it's been pretty much rain free every week. Now, this was kind of the first week they may have had to. I would have had a blanket a on in the stands. Yeah, but yeah. you know, it wasn't. Awful. It wasn't yeah. super windy. It wasn't rainy. It was just kind of nice fall feel Crisp. here. Crisp is a very good <laughs> word. That's right. You know what else was kind of cool? Mm. Fall October racing yes. at IMS yesterday. I watched that race. That was fun. Randy wanted to know if they have heaters in the cars. You know, and that's they interesting. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> that wind, they do have that windscreen now, right. so it's probably maybe not as chilly as what it would be. But, uh, yeah, it's cool to see some. They're going to be doing it again this afternoon, yeah, too. So they got back-to-back -back, uh, at IMS. If you are going to be one of the lucky few that are going to be heading out there, I think it's going to be a good day for that. You see the lights all on there at IMS as they're gearing up for that Harvest GP round two here later on today. It's 45 out at the track right now. We're going to kind of hold into the 40s for really the rest of the morning. So it's going to be chilly. The good news is it's it's not super windy, uh, so it's not too, too bad if you're going to be out running some errands or maybe you're hitting the links early here this morning. 47 at 9 o'clock, 49 at 10, and then we're up to 53 by around 11 o'clock, and we'll call it a mixture of sun and clouds. It won't be a bright blue sky. We do have some rain chances to talk about for your Sunday, so before that, I want to talk about, and we've spent a lot of time about how dry we are. I want to kind of look deeper into the statistics, so I want to take you all the way back to August First, since August 1st, 2.21 inches of rainfall. That's all we have had here in Indianapolis. So that stretch now is the fifth driest stretch for that specific time period that we have on record. I think this is probably more impressive here. Consecutive days where we have had less than a tenth of an inch of rain, and we stand now at 45 days. The record is 47 so we're only two days away from that but we do have some rain on the way tomorrow the key is will we get above this number because if we do not i think we easily easily break this record here so we'll have to watch as we go through the day tomorrow let's time this out here you have no problems today we are dry all day long so storm track 8 future cast i'm going to stop this at around eight o'clock tonight this is when we may start to see some showers filling in this is going to be relatively light, but steady, I think, in many locations through mid to late evening into the overnight. And even into this time tomorrow, we'll have some of these isolated showers still kind of hanging around. This is at 7 o'clock Sunday morning. Uh, I'm going to stop here about 6 o'clock in the evening on Sunday. I think we have a real good shot of kicking a lot of this rain by around early afternoon. So it's not going to rain all day. Most of the rain is going to come into the morning and then clouds should start to break by late tomorrow night, leading to a dry start on Monday. If you're really hoping for some decent rain, I wish I had better news for you. I don't think we have any chance of getting up to an inch of rain. There could be some isolated spots that get a half an inch, but I think we're going to be lucky if we get into that tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall. But if we get over that tenth, we'll at least break that streak. It's the only day that we have for real rain chances Sunday. Because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is dry, and we go beyond that. We're dry through next weekend. And if you want to go over the next 8 to 14 days, the forecast calls for drier than normal conditions to continue. And that would take you into the middle of the month. So hard-pressed to find any significant precip here in the long term. We're at 46 now. Winds are out of the north and east at 6, 42 in South Bend. You are chilly up in Fort Wayne at 38, 45 Bedford and Evansville, Louisville at 47. Highs today do sneak into the lower 60s. Not too breezy, so overall not a bad day. Some of you up north don't make it out of the 50s up in the region. Chicago land area at 57 along with South Bend. Fort Wayne at 58, Bedford at 64, 66 in Terre Haute, and around 61 for your afternoon high in Richmond. Your Chapman heated and cooling, eight-day forecast. Again, here comes your rain chances for Sunday at 58. Nice start to the work week on Monday, 62, and then a warming trend on tap. So you can put those jackets away at least for a little bit. Back to the 70s starting Tuesday, middle 70s on Wednesday. We hover right around 70 for Thursday, Friday, and to kick off next weekend, next Saturday. That looks great, Marcus. Thank you. It's 550.